Hello and welcome to yet another Two Minute Tuesday. I have a really quick tip today. I personally am going through kind of a go live season right now. I have several projects that are going live. And one of the things that, you know, the customers really like about working with Dynamics 365 is the integration with Outlook. But I think that out of the box, the integration with Outlook doesn't kind of cover all of, all of the different scenarios that a lot of companies work with. Case in point, I want to talk about what happens to a task that you're trying to synchronize or that you're trying to track into Dynamics, but you also are trying to assign. And that's why I'm starting with like just a random task right here called Identify Decision Maker. Um, you know, sometimes when you track tasks, you're also assigning them to somebody else. That's why you have this button here called assign task. And the the problem that happens is that out of the box, when you do something like that, the tracks are just not synchronized at all. And also, if you have a recurrent task, which not a lot of people use, but some people do use, recurrent tasks are also not synchronized by the you know uh, synchronization between Outlook and Dynamics, like the Outlook client, for example. So. This is actually really simple to resolve and it's one of the things on my go live checklist whenever I work with customers that are going to be developing or implementing the synchronization with Outlook. It's always a conversation that comes up and I like to cover it. So let me show you how that works. So let's start the countdown and let's go. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch to my Dynamics 365, uh, which is right here. And then I'm going to navigate into advanced settings. And once this opens, we're going to go into administration system settings and today is labor day that i'm recording this man this thing is so snappy i guess no one is <laughs> it's using dynamics in the us which is great all right so here in system settings i'm going to go to outlook actually synchronization not outlook even though it's an outlook feature is on the synchronization tab and if you scroll down you see it, it says synchronize tasks that are assigned in outlook right this is the setting that we want to enable this is disabled by default so once you do that you click ok and you're good to go. Whatever method of synchronization you're using, whether you're using a manual system like Outlook, for example, where you have to click on track to be able to track that task, or whether you're using automation with server-side sync or whatever it is that you're doing, now tasks that are assigned to another user within your company through Outlook will also be tracked. Uh, that wasn't possible before. Now, there are some conditions, right? So if you're assigning a task, it needs to be assigned to a user that is also part of the same Dynamics 365 or model-driven app organization. You, know, you cannot just assign a task to someone who doesn't even have a user account and expect that to be tracked. So you do need to be kind of part of the same app or the same organization within Dynamics 365. But as long as you're both users and you both are able to own tasks and have them synchronized to Dynamics, you're good to go. Now you're able to do it. So I hope you enjoy the tip this week and we'll see you next week.